When looking at the results for the Vans Venice Street Grind Finals, what might come to mind is parody. Any given skater can win on any given day, and such was the case in the World Championships of Street Skating. Some skaters that did well in the qualifying rounds didn't have it in the finals. This left the door wide open as the top 10 finishers were strong. Coming in 10th place was Rick Howard. Rick managed to skate well, even though the heat and two full days of skating took its toll. Slipping by Rick for 9th place was Joey Pulsifer. Joey had to skate three times to settle a tie with Rick for 9th place. Joey banged out a solid third run, which marked the difference. Finishing in 8th place was Brian Patch. Brian kept everyone guessing in the velodrome as to what he might do. In the end, he surprised us all with this huge ollie up and over the back of the 8-foot ramp. Chad Muska slammed a great run. He practiced hard in between heats, and it paid off. Chad had everything come together for his final two minutes of skating. He finished the day in seventh place. Danny Way, skating through injury and pain, came through with an amazing run. Watching Danny skate is like a small miracle. He has had so many hard falls in his career, one has to wonder how he continues to skate so well. He combined his vert talents with his raw ability to finish in sixth place. Andy McDonald was no surprise in doing well. It's almost expected that Andy will be in the top ten in any contest he enters. He lofted big airs and stayed consistent throughout both his final runs. The SoCal resident finished in fifth place. For fourth place, Tim Brock proved that he has tremendous talent. It's hard not to notice his broken arm, but it didn't seem to bother Tim as he skated solid. For his effort, Tim pocketed 650 bucks, enough to get the cast off in time for the next contest. Third place went to Steve Barra. Steve delighted his fellow skaters and the crowd with his great attitude and skating ability. Steve skated well the entire weekend. As a matter of fact, I don't remember seeing him have a bad run. For the day, he received a big fat $1,000 check. For first and second place, I'll let you be the judge. Here's Willie Santos and Eric Costin. <laughs> the judges have a tough decision. Who's it going to be? Eric Costin or Willie Santos? $2,000 goes to Willie Santos. Oh, Big round of applause. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Second, of course, the Big E and the Big Money, the Big Payday. Here he is, Eric Costin. Check it out. From girl, Eric Costin. Big round of applause. And a snowboard. He's got it all. Eric Costin going big as the winner of the Vans Venice Street Grind Finals. You know, Eric